The community of White Sand First Nation will develop an industrial park to support new biomass and wood processing facilities thanks to a Government of Canada and Government of Ontario investment. Here's the story with Net News Ledger. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for attending today. Uh, this is a very great day for us. Uh, good to see Minister Hadjou again and my longtime friend, Minister Gravel, who my mom wants over for pasta dinner, but I haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, I'd also like to thank White Sand Chief and Council for the support through the years on this project and congratulate the whole community for sticking with the project since, since its first vision in 1992. Through this project, White Sand will be able to address long-standing systemic problems and reinvest in community development. White Sand will be able to create meaningful employment, participate in Ontario and Canada's forest-based economy, begin to address climate change directly at the community level. We will be able to demonstrate to the world how carbon can reduction can transform to poverty reduction at an Indigenous community. Uh, the project will act as a catalyst towards social growth, economic prosperity, and environmental responsibility. I would personally like to thank all of our partners, Fednor, Mike and Jacqueline, and Paul, who I just met are here. INAC, Doris is here, I think, or on her way. Uh, Natural Resources Canada, Trevor, Maureen, or people that have supported us through the years in all their programs. I met with Minister Carr last week in Winnipeg and they've been big supporters. Um, I'd very much like to thank also NOHFC, uh, Linda Braun, Jamie's here. Linda's been a huge, huge asset for us in doing all this. MNRF, uh, Scott, Rick Aikman, uh, supporting us all the groundwork. Ontario Workforce Innovation Centre and Ryerson University for Workforce Development. Ed Fukushima, visionary, has led pellets in the north for many years. Uh, WSP Engineering, KBM, Ted Scully, Brian McIver, Shannon Nelson, Chris Walton, Tina Ahokas, and the list goes on and on. Through our project, we're able to really show how change can happen at a community. And it's my great honour and privilege to present Minister Hadjidou. Well, thank you so much. And I feel a little bit like uh, a little late to the party in a way, since I've only been an elected official for two years. But I can tell you that it's been a joy to work with all of the partners that uh, David has listed on this project. And uh, I'm honored to be part of this journey. And, and it's, uh, it's great to be here with all of you on the traditional territory of Fort William First Nation. Welcome to, of course, my colleague, Michael Gravel, who I work so closely with. And, and it's been a, a real honor to work with you. And I say that every time, but that's because I profoundly feel it every time I see you, that, uh, that the work that we're doing together in this partnership is really making things move forward in our community. So thank you very much. Um, all of the colleagues of mine that are working together. You know, I think one of the things that uh, we're able to do when we actually set our minds to something is start to address that siloing that has happened in government for a very long time. I'm looking at Michael because I'm sure he can relate on his level. And you know, the way that government is designed is it's not always designed to work collaboratively even within, uh, within a government. But when I think about all of the people that have come together to work on this project at the federal level, um, my colleague Navdi Baines, the Minister of Innov Innovation, Science, Technology, and the Minister responsible for FedNOR, uh, Honourable Jane Philpott, who's the Minister of the newly formed Indigenous Services, uh, James Carr, who David um, uh, referenced, the Minister of Natural Resources Canada. It really is this vision that when we work together across platforms, we can actually move things to forward together. So I'd also like to recognize Chief Gustafson, uh, the Council of, the, of, of White Sand, but as you mentioned, David, over 25 years, all of the people that have had their hand in this, pushing forward, and of course, uh, the residents of White Sand who have believed in you and pushed forward with you and, and uh, stood behind you as you did some really challenging, really innovative thinking about how you were going to bring your community forward. So uh, I know that there's uh, so many people that probably have contributed in ways that I would never imagine. And, and I just want to thank all of those people that came before us that, that carried the ball for as long as they could carry it. It's those, uh, it's that determination and that passion and 
and really that uh, self uh, that selflessness that uh, that can actually make projects like this come come forward. And also, I want to thank all of the employees of all of the different federal agencies and departments that work so hard on our behalf. Um, they're really the people that are that are that are doing the work behind the scenes. And never have I more profoundly understood that since I've become the minister of employment. When I see the fact that uh, you know the politicians are the ones that have the ideas, or not always just the ones that have the ideas, but the ones that say you know go forth and make it happen and there is a crew of people that work tirelessly to make sure that this kinds of these kinds of projects can come to come to fruition so I'm very excited to stand here as your member of Parliament for Thunder Bay Superior North uh, your MP but also the Minister of Employment Workforce Development and Labor because that's what this is going to be about as well this is going to be about breaking the chain of poverty about prosperity about self-determination about um, employment not just for this generation but for generations to come it really is a legacy that you're building here for your community. The project started as a vision for a model forest that would see responsible development focused on bioenergy, ecotourism, and sustainable forest management. And now we're on the verge of a game-changing and groundbreaking development for the community. I remember when I first met you, Dave, and, uh, and Chief, and uh, sat down with Council and heard what had been happening in the community and got to know White Sand, and I was blown away at the innovation and creativity and grit and spirit that was existing in our own riding that I would never have the privilege of knowing had I not been uh, running for office and getting to meet all of you and talking about what was going on. And it's time to bring the White Sand Industrial Park and with it the Sagate co-generation and wood pellet facility from blueprint from that idea phase into actually scale. So I'm very excited to be here on behalf of the Government of Canada to announce the investment of more than $2.81 million to help White Sand First Nation end its dependence on diesel fuel and produce its own clean, reliable, and renewable energy. And I'm just going to break down a little bit how that's coming together. Of that amount, $1.86 million is being provide, provided through Indigenous Affairs in Indigenous Affairs, Canada's Community Opportunity Readiness Program. These are always very catchy titles, so just so you know. The remaining $949,000 uh, is being provided by FedNOR through its Northern Ontario Development Program. And this is in addition to the $1.1 million that was provided earlier on by Natural Resources Canada. As well as more, more than $650,000 is being provided by Indigenous and Northern Affairs Canada and more than $330,000 $330, is being provided by FedNOR. And this funding enabled project planning, pre-development, engineering analysis, the negotiations for power purchase agreements and, and, and to advance the biomass initiative. So all told, the Government of Canada's contribution to this unique and truly game-changing initiative stands at nearly $4.9 million. Among its many benefits, the project's going to enable White Sand to offer fully serviced land that will attract other businesses and the good paying jobs that they bring with them. Thanks to the vision and the determination of the many dedicated champions from the community, we now stand one step closer to the realization of the White Sand Industrial Park and the Sagate co-generation and wood pellet facilities. So I want to thank all of you. I want to commend all of you for all of that passion and the de determination. I know that with a project this size, with this many partners, with this many levels of government, Michael's going to speak about the Ontario contribution very shortly, that can be super challenging. And that there are often roadblocks in the way, and barriers, and setbacks. And Dave and I have talked many times about the challenges, and uh, the Chief has also shared with me many times the kinds of things that have, uh, have really been frustrating. But you persevered, you fought through, and with good partners, we can actually make this a reality. Thank you very much. It's just an honor to be here. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, there's so many partners. I, I, I don't want to forget uh, Minister Thibault, uh, Minister Chirelli, and the Premier for the directive that led us to one of Ontario's very first one-of-a-kind power purchase agreement which I'm pleased to announce we've completed negotiations of a very long, hard time, and the Premier herself for supporting this project. I'd like to now introduce my good friend, uh, Minister Gravel, and also recognize Tammy and Larry Joy for uh, helping to arrange this event as well and all the work he's done for us.
Well, thank you so much, David. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, Patty, it's just great always working in partnership with you. And this is such a good example of how important cooperation is. Uh, we look at this project with this history going back into the early 1990s, David, and uh, Chief, it's uh, quite remarkable uh, uh, that we're at this historic day today. So I'm thrilled to be here as part of it and want to thank my ministry staff as well, Jamie Taylor and uh, Linda Braun, who are here, and uh, of course, Larry and Tammy, as always, for everything. But uh, from helping us get through this. Uh, Chief Gustafson, it's, it's great to see you. Uh, I do want to recognize that we are on the land of Fort William First Nation in the Robinson Superior Treaty area, but also recognize White Sand First Nation. Uh, and welcome to all the uh, members of the White Sand First Nation Council and elders that are here. It's a historic day and one that's going to be, I thought it was interesting, David, that you re referenced uh, how we can actually move, uh, use carbon reduction to uh, Move, move poverty reduction. I think that's tremendously true, and uh, this project's a great example of that. And uh, and today's announcement, as we've all, as Patty has pointed out, and as David has pointed out, is just the epitome of what can happen when we all work together in a cooperative way and in partnerships. And the system isn't always designed to work that way. That's the um, amazing thing about it. But uh, certainly, this is a project that's been very close to my heart and. Uh, those of our staff for some time and to see the uh, fruition of it come to us today is, a, is, is pretty darn exciting. The White Sand First Nation Industrial Park will ultimately bring to fruition the Community Sustainability Initiative to a goal to improve the lives and livelihood of the First Nation members of White Sand First Nation. Leading the way to economic success through responsible partnerships while always respecting and honoring the environment and our community. Ontario's investment uh, in this new industrial park will help advance White Sand First Nation's goal to realize a stronger future for your community and the region at large. The opportunities that are there in terms of economic sustainability are remarkable and very, very exciting, and, it, it's, and I applaud you for that. So I'm on, honored to join Minister Haidu and to announce the province's investment in this unique and visionary initiative and point out how wonderful it is to be able to work with Patty with the federal government on projects such as this. So through the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation, Ontario is investing $949,539 in White Sand First Nations development of their new industrial park. <laughs> A lot of work has been done. Uh, there's more work to be done. We're looking forward to continuing to work with you closely, but this will make it possible for those fully serviced uh, land to be leased to industrial tenants and uh, Sagate Cogeneration and Sagate Wood Pellets Incorporated being your first tenant and obviously a wholly owned subsidiary of White Sand First Nation. Uh, this will support the future construction of uh, forest biomass manufacturing and green energy facilities and once it is completed, this innovative and environmentally responsible industrial development project will attract new business as well. So the future is bright for White Sand First Nation with this wonderful project. And of course, it's exciting that it will provide meaningful year-round uh, employment opportunities for members of White Sand and for surrounding Far North communities. Not only will the initiative strengthen and diversify your economy and the region's economy, it will attract more investment to the community as well, which is so vital to revitalization, sustainability, and economic growth. So I bring greetings on behalf of uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne. Thank you for thanking uh, Ministers uh, uh, Thibault and Chirelli, and uh, may I also thank Minister McGarry for the for the MNRFs, uh, exactly. but particularly the, the, the land acquisition and other things that, that have been... For everybody. Uh, for everybody. I mean, our government's been very, very engaged in this project. Larry's been very close to this project for a long time, and thank you, Larry, for all your hard work on this. We, uh, we are committed to helping communities in the far north diversify economic opportunities to increase fairness by spurring job creation and growth in the economy and uh, growth in the region. So uh, to uh, Chief Gustafson, again, I thank you for your uh, dedication and commitment to this. This has gone on for a long time, but uh, we're at a very historic point right now, which is fantastic. Uh, I wish your community partners, uh, your community and your partners, much success and continue to bring this exciting project to fruition. Thank you so very much. Make wish. And finally, it's my uh, honor to present uh, Chief Alan Gustafson and all of Council from White Sand to come on up and they can introduce themselves. And uh, uh, thanks again to everybody. Uh, we're on our way to a new future. So thank you. Al, Council.
before us. Before I start here, can I have uh, Minister Hadju and Minister Gavel come up here, please? Thank you. Okay. On behalf of uh, White Tent and my council, I want to thank you guys for all your support. Uh, we came a long ways and uh, you know, I hope we'll still work together. Oh, absolutely. Yes, thank you. Partner. Thank you, too. Thank you. And I'd like to introduce you to my. Uh, uh, and are you well? Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you very much, Al. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we, this seems too short. Is there something longer here? <laughs> a little nervous here because it's uh, not too often I stand up and uh, talk in front of people. But White Sand First Nation is proud to be partners with the government of Canada and Ontario to make this uh, game-changing generational project a reality. We have been pursuing this complex development for many, many years. We could be we could be happier to finally see it, see it moving from development toward construction and implementation. The industry park will be known as the Bile Energy Center and Merchasing Yard. White Sand First Nation will be uh, on the new low carbon uh, to I apologize. Create, create. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Meaningful employment, while while respecting the environmental and providing clean, renewable power. On behalf of Chief and Council of uh, uh, of White Sand, uh, we'd like to thank all of you. And also, I should mention. Uh, you know, I heard uh, uh, Dave coming up here and. Uh, uh, thanking everybody that was involved in this project. But I also like to thank uh, Dave Mackett and Craig Tossett for all the work they've done. Uh, they did a lot of work here. Uh, we started this in 2008 and they, and they put many, many, many hours into this, thousands of hours in, in nine years. And to get to where we are today, and again, I'd like to thank uh, the people of uh, of uh, all the ministers that we that we had worked with, and I met a lot of ministers on uh, on my uh, route uh, when I was dealing with this uh, power power purchase and stuff. So, anyways, again on behalf of Chief and Council, and the White Sand members uh, who stood behind us uh, to uh, develop this project, miigwech. Hello, everybody. I'd um, like to thank everyone for coming out. Um, just like to say a few words. Uh, I'll keep it short because, like, like the chief, I'm a little nervous speaking in front of everyone and uh, all the cameras. So, uh, if you all have an hour and 45 minutes to spare, that would be awesome. <laughs> First thing I'd like to bring up is these cameras are not catching my good side. So. <laughs> If we could face them all directly to the back of the wall, to catch my good side just right. Uh, or face them straight up, and that's my best look on camera. Uh, but I would, I would like to add on to what the Chief said, you know, like, uh, this project means a lot to us. Um, uh, the Earth needs projects like this more than ever. Like, uh, everybody in this room, uh, to me, is a part of history right now, right down to the people taking pictures, to all the political people pulling the strings, pushing this project forward, and especially to all the White Sand Band members who, without their support, none of us would be here today. So I would like to take my hat off and say thanks to all our band members who are all unsung heroes that nobody sees or hears about, so I'd like to give them props today because, again, without them and their support, none of us would be here. 
So um, that's basically all I had to say. And again, I just want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting us and being here. So big wish. My name is Jim Kwanavents, uh, White Sand First Nation counselor. Uh, I'm twice as nervous as those two. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank everybody that's here. I know they all took part in this project, and uh, Patty and uh, Gravel's uh, speech were very awesome. Um, thank you very much. Hi, my name is Paul Matnick, uh, uh, White Sand Counselor. And I'd just like to thank everybody that participated in this project. And uh, I'd like to say it to everybody, Jimmy Gretsch. Oh. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Les Lashnet. I'm a counselor for White Sand First Nation also. In 1992, I was one of the council members that planted the seed of what we're doing right now. And it has come to full circle. Now I've seen the fruits of the labor that we started in 1992. That's, uh, I served with four chiefs. Maybe the next one will be the fifth chief, I don't know. So I've got a full circle. I've seen a lot of things happen. And it takes a tremendous work from everybody. And Mr. Uh, Michael Gravel, and we met a few times, but I know you met a lot of people in your life. <laughs> but I'm lucky I was fortunate to meet you too, and Patty had you. And I was telling you I was happy that I voted for you that time in federal <laughs> election. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I appreciate it very much that the tremendous help and everybody. Thank you, Larry, for setting this up. And I'd like to thank everybody that's over here attending and to my friend, Fukushima, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. And I remind Al when he gets nervous to think about Kwishkanabo, which is dumplings. And I remind Norman that he's going to be taking me on in a wrestling match at the new multiplex next year. I've been in training. You're going down. So that concludes today. Uh, there's a one pager uh, at, uh, at the back on the project if anybody wants that. And uh, there's a drawing there of what the site actual work that we're doing. Thank you, everybody. And uh, we've uh, got a lot of work to go, but uh, we're determined to get it done. Thank you.